Hi everyone, I'm Shruti and I live in Singapore and today the breakfast item that I'm making is made widely in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and a lot of other states in India. This is called Sabudana Khichdi. This is made with sago pearls and it is a popular breakfast item and a snack. And this is also widely eaten as a fasting food item among the Hindu communities of India. So let's get cooking. So the ingredients for sabudana khichdi is uh, this is sabudana and uh, these are sago pearls which I have soaked overnight and I have taken here one cup of uh, sabudana and I have washed it thoroughly until the water runs clear and I soaked it in three fourth cup of water and it has to come to a part where it mashes easily between your finger and I have taken your roasted peanut powder I have taken here some ghee, then sugar, lemon, salt to taste, green chilies as per choice, curry leaves, grated coconut for garnish, cumin seeds, coriander leaves for garnish and one medium sized boiled potato. Let's start making the sabudana khichdi. I want to show you that uh, this is the sago pearls that I'm using and this is completely in the dry state and uh, these are hard and uh, you're supposed to wash them about 8 to 10 times until the water runs completely clear so i have taken here one cup of sabudana and uh, i have washed it thoroughly and uh, i have soaked this overnight with about three fourth cup of the same cup of water and uh, in the morning uh, as i showed you before the difference between both the pearls you can see is when you mash the soaked one is this soft and they have doubled in size as well so now uh, I'm going to start making the khichdi the process is really very easy the ingredients are really simple so now I'm going to uh, add about two to three tablespoons of ghee to a preheated pan and yes there is uh, a lot of ghee that goes into this breakfast as uh, I told you this is used as a fasting food so I'm going to just increase the flame you can reduce the ghee in this recipe but um, I would suggest you not because uh, ghee is one of the main ingredients that imparts a very very special flavor to the khichdi so I'm making the Maharashtrian version of the sabudana khichdi here so I'm just going to wait uh, till the ghee uh, heats up. Until then, I'm just going to chop uh, two green chilies uh, just roughly. You can reduce the chilies if you don't like it too spicy. So um, I'm going to add a teaspoon of jeera, cumin seeds to this. Uh, increase my flame uh, to medium high so I'm just going to let this uh, splutter a bit it just needs to change the color a bit and uh, once you start getting the aroma of the cumin seeds I'm going to add the green chili and I'm just uh, let this uh, become a little crisp I'm just going to let the curry leaves become a little crispy until then I'm just going to prep my sabudana very quickly here uh, I'm going to add the roasted peanut powder so uh, what I have done is I've taken some raw peanuts roasted them on a dry pan and I have coarsely ground them into a powder so you can see a few pieces a bit of powder so this is about uh, 3 4 half cup to 3 4 cup as per choice so I'm going to just mix this well um, until it coats the sabudana really well I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to this and I'm going to add uh, a teaspoon of sugar as well so I'm just going to mix this really well uh, and uh, let's just keep this aside 
Now you can see the curry leaves have completely crisped up. So now I'm going to add a boiled potato. I'll boil this until it's really soft. So I'm just going to uh, increase my flame a bit. And I'm just going to uh, fry the potatoes until I see a slight brown color on both the sides. Um, as you can see, the potatoes have uh, a slightly brown uh, color to them now. So now it is uh, a good time to add the prepared uh, sabudana with the peanut powder. So I'm just going to add this. And I'm going to keep stirring this for about 5 to 6 minutes. And I'm going to cover this and cook for about a minute. So this is the time where a lot of um, uh, recipes uh, kind of go clogged because uh, sometimes the sabudana goes uh, clumpy, sometimes there's a lot of water. So there are a few tricks and tips that you need to follow when you make this dish. Make sure the ghee is enough so that it coats well as well as the peanut powder. So I'm just going to continue stirring this for about uh, uh, 4 to 5 minutes on medium heat. Uh, make sure the flame is not uh, very low because I don't want it to um, start getting sticky. I want it to remain hot. So uh, make sure also your pan is uh, non-stick because uh, it tends to stick quite a lot at the bottom so make sure your pan is uh, a good non-stick pan so yeah and uh, you can see some of the sabo the sabudana pearls are turning translucent so that's what we are looking at uh, we need the sabudana to completely uh, become translucent and make sure you don't overcook this So uh, it's been about uh, two minutes now. Uh, what I want to do is uh, I will just uh, close this exactly for a minute and um, I'm going to uh, quickly steam it and I'll, I'll just lower the flame a bit and I'm going to quickly remove the uh, lid and I'm going to stir fry this again. So I'll see you on the other side. So as you can see, it's become nice and fluffy and it is a bit soft and uh, and the grains are separate as well. So, so now you, you you can see more that the, the sabudana has become more translucent. So this is quite a good sign of uh, this being cooked right now. I'm just going to stir fry this on a medium high heat uh, for about a minute more. So it's taken me literally few minutes to get this dish together. It's just that a few tips and tricks that you need to follow to get it right and uh, make sure you're not overcooking this. So I'm just going to uh, stir this and I'm going to switch this off. I'm going to let this stay. I have my serving platter here. Firstly, I'm going to squeeze a few drops of fresh lemon juice and I'm just going to quickly stir this. So, check for your seasonings as well. You can add salt if you really need it now. Uh, I'm just going to quickly chop up my cilantro. I'm going to add a few roughly chopped leaves to this and I'm going to reserve some for the garnish. I like to use the stalks as well because they have a great flavor. So now I'm just going to plate this.
finally we have a sabudana kishri ready to eat within a few minutes and uh, i just want to show you this i just want to show you that uh, it looks really nice the potatoes have roasted perfectly and the grains are separate as well so i can't wait to taste it it's a beautiful balance between sweet salt lemon and chili as well make it like it share it and let me know how you like it keep watching my recipes thanks for watching